The Scottish Terrier, popularly called the Scotty, is a breed of dog. Initially one of the Highland breeds of Terrier that were grouped under the name of Sky Terrier, it is one of five breeds of Terrier that originated in Scotland, the other four being the modern Sky, Cairn, Dandy Dinmont, and West Highland White Terriers. They are an independent and rugged breed with a wiry outer coat and a soft dense undercoat. The first Earl of Dumberton nicknamed the breed the Die Herd. The Scotch Terrier is a tireless bearded inventor, a fierce debater and a mischievous headstrong, with an almost magnetic charm. In the house where the Scottish Terrier lives, a positive attitude almost always reigns, because next to such a dog it is impossible to remain too serious. By the way, you can have no doubt that you will literally have to be with the Scotty. The representatives of this breed consider it their direct duty to take an active part in all the owner's endeavors. Highlights the Scottish Terrier has a couple of alternative names by which dog lovers identify it. So, for example, a dog is often called a Scotty or a gentleman in a skirt. The recognizable appearance of the Scotch Terriers is often used in advertising campaigns. For example, on the label of black and white whiskey you can see a Scottish Terrier paired with its no-white cousin, the West Highland. The voice of this breed is low and resonant, which makes their barking seem annoying. But if at one time you are not too lazy to instill in the dog the norms of behavior in the apartment, she will not annoy you with opera arias. The Scottish Terrier, despite the external comic and compactness, bordering on diminutiveness, is a hot-tempered, pugnacious creature and adores conflicts with other animals, in particular, with large breed dogs. A properly educated Scotsman does not make a tragedy out of the master's absences. The main thing is not to abuse his good nature, locking the animal in the apartment for a day and depriving him of a walk. Scotty accepts petting favorably, but hates when it is forced upon him, so say goodbye to dreams of squeezing a dog at any time of the day or night. Energy, passion for adventures and interest in everything unknown is in the blood of the breed, so it will not work just to put the Scottish Terrier on the sofa and safely forget about its existence. The dog needs daily emotional and physical relaxation, which it should receive, while walking and communicating with a person. Getting angry and sulking at the owner is a common thing for Scotch Terriers. Anything can be a reason for resentment, a conversation with a pet in a raised voice, a ban or even a banal refusal of another tasty treat. Scottish Terrier. Breed Description. A sturdy short-legged dog of size suitable for burrow hunting. Height at the withers 25 to 29 centimeters, weight 8 to 10 kilograms. Without much difference between the sexes. Collected like a spring, very fast, despite the short legs. She is brave by nature, very smart, restrained, does not show aggression. It moves smoothly and freely, strictly protruding ears and tail reflect inner composure and readiness for action. Popular colors of Scotch Terriers According to the standards, several colors are allowed, including variegated, which are very heterogeneous and difficult to classify. Variegated areas can be found on evenly colored fur coats, which is not considered a defect. Popular colors Black color is considered the most common, but without reason. Dogs as black as beetle or anthracite are in fact rare. Usually those that appear black are in fact interspersed with white, brown or gray fur, wheat. A very fashionable color, known since 1905. In addition to the wheat itself, the red brindle is often ranked among it. Best of all, they differ in newborn revelry. Wheat, light, darkening with age. The hairs of red brindles are unevenly colored, light at the base, red at the ends, variegated, a mixture of various combinations of colors and patterns. Distinguish. Tiger. Ancestral color of the breed, brindle gene have all dogs of dark colors. The light back ilograms round can be wheat, gray, shade of red. The stripes are black, gray, dark brown. The contrast can be very bright or almost indistinguishable such dogs are considered black. Wild colors, grizzly, badger, wild boar differ in back ilograms round color and may be tan. With a boar, the back ilograms round is silvery, lightening from back to belly. The badger back ilograms round is fawn. Grizzly is a mixture of black and brown colors of varying degrees of lightning. Salted peppers range from almost black to almost white. With age, the dark brindle color can become covered with gray, light hairs in some places, for example, on the back. The color changes for a number of reasons, including age, season, nutrition, and more. The Nature and Habits of Scotch Terriers Scotties are dogs with a distinct personality. They are quite self-confident and quite independent for dogs. They can even be overly stubborn, in which they are able to compete with the owner. Fans of the breed call this terrier die hard. Although the selection of the breed was carried out to improve the decorative qualities, these dogs remain hunters by nature. They are enthusiastically looking for game, wherever they are, in apartments and on city streets. And then they get down to business. 
Scotty are true enemies of walking cats and other small animals, pets are always at risk, and tribesmen irritate them. The hunter's work style, efficient and businesslike, carries over to other activities. They are not as fast as other terriers, but they are observant and able to analyze the situation. On a walk, the doggy is usually busy with a thorough survey of the territory, not missing a single mark. But he will not refuse to play if he is offered. Hard to expect, given the short legs, but the dogs are capable of very active games and long walks. They can successfully participate in some canine sports, especially agility. The hereditary qualities of a hunter, quick wits, agility, temperament allow these terriers to quickly overcome obstacles, defeating stronger but stupid rivals. Fun fact, dogs are very smart and not only in appearance. They are superbly trained, despite their willful nature. The main thing is not to press. Scotty always knows when to give up to win. Praise, goodies, permission to walk longer, the dog doesn't need much. They are wary of strangers, not showing aggression, but also not showing friendliness. They are generally restrained, self-sufficient breed, not prone to bright displays of emotions, caresses, harassment and do not get bored with requests to play. Therefore, they do not welcome small children. Interesting facts about Scotch Terriers. The 32nd President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, was known for many deeds, in particular for the fact that he owned Fall Scotch Terrier, who always accompanied him during the war. The dog is immortalized on a monument erected to the President at his memorial in Washington. In addition to Falla, other Scottish Terriers of the same Roosevelt and his wife lived in the White House. 43rd President George W. Bush had two Scotch tapes, and one of them, Barney, starred in nine White House films. Scottish Terriers were kept in his estate Batemans by the English writer and poet R. Keepling, and even edited a story written by one of them. The fabulous story Yours Truly the Dog Boots about the adventures of the dog is available to our readers. Those who are inclined to more serious materials can pay attention to fashionable handbags from Radley, they bear the brand name, the Scotty Silhouette. An echo of the era of the American Depression, when this image was the advertising leitmotif of textile products with sports design. Scotch tapes start in many films, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, the Blood Inscription series, where he plays Lestrade's dog. There are episodes in Escape, France, 1978, Funny Stories, 1962, Adele's Bizarre Adventures, France, 2010, Jeeves, and Worcester, where Scotch tape plays the role of Aunt Agatha's dog. Pros and Cons of Scotch Terriers The tough temper of dogs of this breed obliges to deal with them from an early age. But a well-mannered Scotty is a great friend and companion. Upbringing restrains, first of all, his hunting impulses, which makes walks with him pleasant. The dog has funny habits, it is interesting to watch him when he is thoughtfully and importantly exploring the territory. He is always ready to play a ball, if the owner pleases, or to have fun, by executing commands and training. Scotty loves to learn, but if he is polite and encouraging. He meets the pressure from the owner with the appropriate opposition. This is a breed for reserved and patient people. The dog can remain alone without damage to the psyche, it is completely self-sufficient. Does not require attention, does not raise a fuss over trifles. Barks rarely, but expressively, as if communicating something. Scotch tapes are well suited for people who love silence, a calm measured life, and are not too actively involved in healthy lifestyle. They love to watch TV. We can say a dog of retirees. If you reckon with his habits, for example, observing feeding times or the usual walking route, then Scotty will be cheerful and calm. With the owner, he easily adapts to new places, circumstances, tolerates weather conditions. Interesting fact, a significant drawback of the Scottish Terrier can be considered its intolerance to frivolous, familiar attitude, than children's sin. Scotty hates being squeezed, yelling and trying to involve him in the game as a toy. It is believed that he is unfriendly with guests, but this is the cost of poor upbringing. Having got such a Terrier, you will have to respect his personality. This breed is not suitable for people with a harsh, categorical character, as well as those who tend to rush around with a pet like a doll. It is not suitable for travelers who have to contact many strangers. Scotch Terrier Care Every week, the dog is combed out with a comb or slicker so that no tangles form. In rainy weather, the pet is taken out in overalls so that later not to bother with washing the skirt. It's enough that after eating he often has to wash his beard. Show dogs are washed once a month and wheat dogs are treated with a bleaching shampoo. Common procedures include trimming your nails as needed and your ears once a week. Puppies are taught to hygiene early so that they consider it a necessary evil. So they start trimming from four months. If the coat of the Scottish Terrier is healthy and shiny, there is no irritation or dandruff on the skin, and the stool is normal, then the diet can be considered balanced. Regardless of whether the dog eats ready-made feed or natural food. 
diseases and health problems. Scottish Terriers have a number of specific diseases, including hereditary ones. In addition, eye problems of many breeds, such as cataracts and glaucoma, can develop with age. Skin diseases, more common scabies, are caused by parasites, subcutaneous mites, or allergies. Dogs usually live between 11 and 13 years old. Some types of cancer are much more common in this breed than in others. Scotty is especially susceptible to six types of this disease, bladder cancer and other lower urinary tract carcinomas. Usually occurs in older females. Malignant melanoma. Stomach cancer. Squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Lymphosarcoma. Cancer of the nose. Scotch Terrier. Price and how to buy it correctly. The main thing in a dog is character. Of course, the exterior too, if you start a breeding animal. But what doesn't matter is the color. It does not affect exhibition marks, is not related to the mind or mental characteristics. If you need to choose a puppy from a litter, pay attention to the one that is cheerful, curious and holds the tail with a pistol. On examination, the puppy at the age of two months looks plump, has no discharge from the nose, eyes and ears, without a red rash under the armpits. The coat is clean, the skin is elastic. The main indicators are wide chest and back, a thick tail at the warp, strong straight legs. The head at this age is disproportionately large and wide. The condition puppy moves smoothly, without braiding its legs. By the age of four months, he is more muscular, with strong legs and tighter paws. Eye color will be established no earlier than five months. A fluffy puppy with age will acquire a lush beard, mustache, and frill on the underside of the body, and a smooth one will become simple wire-haired and easy to care for. Important fact, pay attention to the position of the eyes and the expression of the dog's physiognomy. A true Scotty looks discerningly from under overhanging eyebrows with dark almond-shaped eyes. Finally, the dog should like you. Initial dislike can cause complications when raising a pet. Prices for puppies vary from 300 to 1,000 US dollars. The main thing when choosing a puppy is his health. The Scottish Terrier is one of the most cuddly dog breeds, despite its wild past. Now they are just funny, curious, very observant companions. Some owners especially emphasize their independence, which makes Scotch tapes closer to cats.